LUTs, otherwise known as lookup tables, are used to convert specific colors in your scene to a different color scheme. LUTs are commonly used in movies, animations, and static images to improve the visual quality and also change the mood or atmosphere of your scene. LUTs can be divided into four categories, time and weather changes, genre changes, silhouette effects, and also effects to remove a certain color. You can find the LUTs and icon under the Stage tab and in the Effects folder. Here you'll find basic templates for adjusting the time and color warmth of the atmosphere. In addition, there are also two subfolders called Adjust Color and Film Style. You can see the full name of each LUT if you mouse over the icon in the Content Manager. The Adjust Color templates keep or remove specific colors from your scene. In Film Style, you'll find various templates for different film styles or monochrome effects. The Amplify LUT 200 Plus folder is from a content pack that is available for separate purchase from the Content Store, which contains a bunch more fantastic visual effects. There is a link in the description if you want to check it out. Let's test out one of our basic LUTs. Here I'm applying the night effect, and you can see that despite lighting and everything else, it will completely change the mood of the scene. This is how LUTs can be incredibly useful to provide a certain atmosphere to your scene, even after all the lighting and everything is complete. Next, let's try the morning LUT. Notice that there is noticeably less warmth in the scene, as it seems like we're up at the break of dawn. On the other end of the spectrum, we can use the sunset effect and get a much warmer atmosphere by applying a simple LUT. Let's try a couple film effects now. Film 8 style will give a bit of a darker feel and sharpen the contrast, much like a suspense or horror movie. Film style 9 will fade out the scene a bit, giving a sort of faded memory feel, which can be used to convey nostalgia or the feeling of an older film. With a silhouette effect, you can flatten the scene into a monochromatic two-color visual color scheme to stylize it to emphasize whatever mood you want. In this next scenario, we're using a LUT from the Adjust Color folder, which removes all color in the scene aside from yellow. If you look closely though, you can still see a twinge of green in the grass in the background. If we want to further tweak this effect, we can use the Reduce Green LUT on top of that. Let's take this scene and look at achieving professional color grading by combining some LUT effects and original post effects to achieve a cold morning atmosphere, and also walk through the basic operation of applying a LUT. Under Film Style, I'm going to apply Film Style 1 by double-clicking with the left mouse button in the Content Manager. You'll find all the properties of the LUTs you've applied in the Post Effects list of the Visual panel. You can Ctrl Z to undo any applied effects, and if you want you can also click and drag in a LUT from the Content Manager. Another way to delete the LUT is to use the trash can icon below the list box. So that's the basic operation, let's get into achieving that cold morning look we were going for. First I'm going to apply Film Style 8 to enhance the space depth by increasing the contrast of the color. This gives us a crisp, sharp, and warm feeling, like a sort of California style. What we can do from here is adjust the color of the LUT by adding some more green, cyan, and blue to give the feeling of fresh air, and then proceed to tweak the brightness, contrast, and saturation to give the scene a more airy feeling. The saturation helps to compensate for the loss of color from the brightness and contrast tweaks. Finally, you can adjust the Effect Contribution slider to view the differences before and after the LUT effect is applied. It's a very subtle difference, but you'll see a big difference in the feeling of the scene. Next, let's apply a Wash LUT from the Film Style Library. This effectively maintains the balance between the highlighted and shaded areas by bleaching out the colors. However, this effect is pretty strong, so let's decrease the effect contribution to restore some of the color back. You can achieve a sort of 60s Europe feel here. You can also toggle the Activate box to see all the LUTs turned on and off. We can combine and blend LUTs with post effects as well. Here I'm applying a color filter effect, and you'll see that we can tweak the overall color scheme of the scene that way as well. Increasing green and blue to create the feeling of a humid summer afternoon. You can then adjust these sliders again to give the opposite effect, more like a winter morning. You can see the before and after when we deactivate. From here you can save all the stacked effects in the list into a custom template in order to expand your own custom library for further use. Once you've saved it, you'll find your effects stored in the Custom tab under the Effects folder. Finally, let's take a look at how LUTs actually work. As I mentioned before, LUT stands for Color Lookup Table. It's actually an uncompressed image file size 1024 by 32 that contains all the color redirect info. Supported image formats are PNG, Targa, and BMP uncompressed. In this diagram, the colors red, green, and blue will be looked up in the LUT image for their allocation. After the conversion, only the reddish color is kept while the others will change to gray. This scene here contains a red band in a brightly colored scene. When I apply the LUT color red only effect from the list, only the color of the van is kept. 
In this diagram, you can see that all the RGB colors are categorized into three different levels to create a stylized cartoon paint result. If we activate the silhouette style LUT, the colors in the source image are replaced with only three colors, which creates a stylized purple and yellow paint result. If you want, you can find the raw LUT images in the Media tab of the Content Manager, under Media Template, Texture, and LUT folders. You can right-click and select Find File to view them in the Explorer window. You can apply these LUT images directly from the Explore window by clicking and dragging as you see here. You can also apply them directly from the Content Manager onto the Visual tab as well. When we do this, you can see that it keeps the color image as part of the LUT, despite the name. Finally, you can also apply them from the Open icon in the Visual tab as well. Here I'm applying an Unreal 256 by 16 format image. This makes the entire scene look like a negative film because the allocation method of the LUT from Unreal is different from the one in iClone. To fix this, you can go into the Adjust Color panel and use the Flip Vertical button to rectify the color information in the image. And here is our final result, before and after. LUTs are an industry standard used by many game engines and CG software. One example is the Amplify LUT library for Unity, which is included in our Essential Visual Expansion Pack. It contains a ton of different LUT templates that you can use to achieve a wide range of moods or looks for your scene. In the next video, we're going to show you how you can make your own LUT using Photoshop and how you can download them as well. See you then!